Hey everybody, I'm here for True North Wilds, the channel where I wear a hat indoors to cover up the fact that I desperately need a haircut. Today I want to give a long, long overdue channel update, uh, let everybody know what's been going on with the lack of videos. Uh, it's pretty simple, it comes down to, I just got burnt out. Uh, I fizzled out really hard in the winter. I had fully intended and I had promised that I would make some ice fishing videos. I got pretty frustrated because I didn't, the way that I have my cameras set up and the equipment that I have just really wasn't conducive to the ice fishing shack and I was getting frustrated with that. Decided not to do any ice fishing videos, um, so I kind of put off a lot of the work that I had been doing on getting those ready. Um, ended up not getting out ice fishing all that much uh, and just after that, you know, going into the spring, getting towards the end of winter, I got pretty sick, with just nothing serious and not, you know, the virus or anything, but just I had a cold and bad sinus infection and I was kind of out of commission for almost a month just dealing with that and just being drained, uh, no energy um, and just no motivation to make videos really. Uh, no motivation to write content from a website. I, I was kind of questioning whether I even wanted to continue with anything. Uh, I've kind of been put, uh, rolling that question around in my head, um, talked to a few people about it over the last couple months. Uh, I decided I'm going to carry on doing it. I still, especially now that spring has sprung finally, um, I'm finally getting to the point where I'm healthy, uh, even though the world is crazy right now and, you know, we're in lockdown just like everybody else as far as uh, the pandemic goes. I haven't been to work in a month. I am considered an essential worker uh, for where I work, so I actually, now that I'm over, mostly over my sinus stuff and my cold and the, the sickness that I had, uh, I'm actually going back to work next week, which will be kind of nice to get out of the house and socialize a little bit with some coworkers who I've missed seeing. I'm used to seeing them, you know, just as much as my wife practically because of the shift work. Um, they're really a second family and being cut off from them over the last month, it's, it starts to wear on you. It's nice being home and, uh, I've been doing stuff outside and inside. I've got hobbies and everything, but it's still nice to see those people that you're, you're so used to seeing. Uh, so I really uh, empathize with anybody who is stuck at home and is not an essential worker or is not able to, to, uh, go into work or have that socialization. I know it can be tough. Anyway, uh, moving on from the downer stuff, like I said, I, I am re-motivated to, to get the channel back up and running and start putting out content again. Uh, a large part of that is the fact that we're getting up to fishing season and I have some camping trips planned, I have some fishing trips planned, uh, and of course, thinking about those and getting ready for those really got me back in that mindset of, man, I can't wait to share where we're going and, and take pictures and take some video of the places that we're going to be and really putting that out there for people to see. So that sort of re-sparked that, uh, that passion, uh, you could say. Some changes that are coming up. So I will be focusing less on the Facebook and Instagram feeds. I don't have, I mean, I don't have a huge following on there, uh, 1500 or so on Facebook and just shy of a thousand on Instagram. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't want to say this in a way that insults anybody, but I don't see the huge value for really trying to uh, be strict about maintaining those feeds. Most of the content on Facebook and Instagram is paid advertisements um, or models or prod people pushing products. And I just, I don't really fit in with that. I, I'll plug products and stuff that I like using, but I'm not paying to advertise any of my posts and I'm not accepting money to uh, to push anything on those feeds and as a result the algorithms rate me pretty low so I don't get a lot back out of trying to I was being pretty strict about it um, obviously not for the last couple months but uh, at first last year and I really tried to push it last year all summer to post a picture every day or even a couple pictures a day and really have the right hashtags and have the right people tagged and all the stuff you're supposed to do to, you know, grow and provide that engagement and all that stuff. Uh, I just never saw it really pay off because I wasn't willing to spend money to do it. And I don't want to have to feel like it's a job or that I have to invest in those platforms just for the purpose of sharing with people and just connecting with people. 
Um, so I'm not gonna do that. I will still post on Instagram and Facebook, but it's gonna be casual, it's gonna be sharing, basically what I've been doing the last couple months. Uh, just sharing my stuff that I think is actually interesting to share or just pictures that I like. I shared a picture of my dog laying in the yard this morning. Uh, things like that. I'm not going to be concerned about getting the exact right hashtags and making sure I have X amount of posts per week or X amount of posts at the right time of day or anything like that. I'm not playing the algorithm game. Uh, I, it's just going to be purely casual sharing. Where my focus is going to go is on to the YouTube channel because I really do like making the videos and I do get good engagement here uh, and people seem to like my content uh, for the most part. So, <laughs> lots of traffic out today and you can probably hear the birds are out. It's a, it's a quite a noisy day today because it's sunny and bright. Um, so as far as the YouTube channel goes, uh, I have some ideas of things I would like to do, but I've also reined myself in and I have some realistic expectations for myself. So I had promised, for example, over the winter of doing these ice fishing videos and then realized I don't have the equipment set up. I don't have a full-time cameraman to follow me around and do stuff. So things like that, I don't, I don't want to be mic'd up when I'm out on the kayak because it's really hard to do right. Uh, I could do stuff like that, but it's hard to do it right and I don't want to half-ass anything. So I'm going to focus on things that I actually can do. I'm going to do more unboxings. Um, I have three that I'll be starting off with. I have my Mystery Tackle Box Pro Walleye that I got all winter and I will continue to get that one. I, I like it. My Mystery ta Tackle Box uh, Elite Bass Box, which I put on pause for the winter because I can't use anything in the winter here. Uh, I'll start getting that again in June, I believe, is when my subscription picks up again. And then Rush Tackle Box, I still have boxes coming to me starting next month in May. Uh, I will be getting that as well. So I'll be doing those three boxes. Whenever Simple Fishing starts their RLM Elite box back up for their relaunch, which should be either June or July, uh, I will absolutely get that box again as well. So I will have the four boxes eventually once uh, that relaunch happens. For now, I'll be starting off with the three, two of them for May, and then three going into uh, summer. So the unboxings will still happen. But they won't be the only thing that I focus on for videos. I want to, uh, you might see them go a little quicker. They might be a little bit shorter videos as I sort of get through them. Uh, I think they're fun to do. I'll, I'll maintain the quality, but I might try and make them a little bit quicker. And I want to spend a little bit more time on other gear. So I want to do more reviews of fishing lures, of course, like I've been doing. But I also fishing rods, reels, accessories. And I want to expand a little bit more into camping and hunting and bushcraft stuff uh, because for me, a big part of my fishing experience is being in the backcountry. Uh, I do a lot of my fishing out in the backcountry, backcountry lakes and, and streams and rivers. So I want to incorporate things like camping gear. Uh, and in particular, I have knives that I want to review. I have a lot of knives. I sort of collect blades. So I want to do a mix of older models that uh, I've had for years and just sort of talk about why I like them and why I still use them after years and years, uh, as well as newer blades that I've just gotten and how I like them uh, and what I think, you know, I'll have a pretty good mix. I personally have a pretty good mix of, or a pretty good range of lower end cheaper knives and higher end more expensive knives. So I want to sort of talk about those uh, and sort of put them through their paces. I actually have a few uh, a few knives that I have already done the recording for so those will be some of the first videos that go up with me getting back into the channel here for the spring so I'm looking forward to things like that just sort of expanding a little bit on the reviews uh, hopefully that's something that interests everybody I want to get away from being just purely a fishing focused channel and go more into some of my other outdoor interests uh, and I hope that's okay with everybody but if not it's my channel and you'll just have to deal with it. Of course, I will be growing my mustache out. I had to actually shave it because of my sickness. It was actually getting in the way of, I was blowing my nose and coughing and sneezing so much. I actually had to uh, shave it just to maintain some sort of hygiene here. So mustache will be coming back for the summer. Don't worry about that. Uh, what else we got here? The website, anybody who goes to the website, which honestly is not that many people, um, but you might notice a few changes there. Uh, I want to get back to more content, more articles. I'm probably not going to post all the video recaps like I have been doing. 
I don't want to go to my website and see just a, a front page full of just video recaps. I want to go there and see articles, content, so um, hopefully I can find the time to do it, but uh, a good example of the content that I want to push on the website and that continue to do on the website is uh, my spring pike um, fishing article from last spring. Got a lot of traffic, a lot of people you know, messaged me and told me that they liked it. and. That was the kind of thing that they liked to read. I want to do more long form stuff like that, informative stuff, rather than just the video recap. So you probably see uh, no more video recaps on the website. And as I have the time to do it, I want to start building up more of a collection of long form, informative sort of content for that. I think that pretty much wraps it all up, except of course, in the title of the video, uh, I know you're waiting for it. So to make up for my absence and to kickstart spring and to kickstart the open water fishing season, we're gonna do a giveaway, of course. I still have a ton of fishing gear. I have been getting the one box all year. I still have a ton of stuff that I haven't actually used. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fill up this container with fishing lures. It'll be a mix of crankbaits, accessories, uh, soft plastics, lots of soft plastics. I have so many soft plastics. Uh, and one lucky person will get this mailed to them. Some of the Packages might be opened because a lot of it will be stuff that I have opened and unboxed and so I might have opened it up taken a, a sniff or a look at it Everything that you get in this container will be unused though even if it is opened But uh, I mean free stuff that is a lot of gear that I can fit in there And I will cram it nice and tight in there so that you get maximum value for your Entry to the giveaway entry is easy. Just leave a comment down below say hi uh Call me dumb for not posting in the last few months. Uh, tell me what you're looking forward to for the summer, the spring. Uh, any video ideas or, or things that you're looking forward to or that you'd like to see. Um, what you think of expanding my reviews a little bit, uh, expanding my categories a little bit. Anything, or just say hi, or just say here, or just say present, whatever. Anybody that leaves any single comment on this video down below there. Um, let's say May 12th, because I believe that is the first day of fishing here in Manitoba. I could be wrong on that, but let's just say May 12th uh, will be the day that I draw a name and I will announce a winner on that day, May 12th. They will get a huge container full of fishing lures. So thank you everybody for bearing with me. This is a bit of a long-winded update, but I feel like I owed an explanation. Uh, thanks for everybody that's still subscribed after the absence. Thanks for people that have been leaving me comments on videos or messaging me on Instagram or leaving comments on Facebook or wherever asking about the channel and checking in with me. I really appreciate it. Appreciate everybody that uh, likes and subscribes. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below here. It really helps me out a lot for the channel. Uh, and yeah, I'm looking forward to the spring. I hope everybody else is too. Hopefully this uh, pandemic that we're dealing with goes away quickly, um, but at least for those of us who can get out and fish and camp to sort of take our minds off of it, there is that small blessing. So. Hope everybody say hope everybody stays healthy and safe and until next time I will see you outside